So Donald Trump lost the election. And it it's an amazing thing. Not because he lost. But because the stock market didn't care. Before, during, and after his loss, the stock market kept going up. Trump came on and bragged how the Dow Jones hit 30,000 and somehow he's trying to take credit for it. Even though it happened once everybody realized he was finally gone. He'd lost how many court cases? I think it was 34 or something. So you're on your way out. Joe Biden is on his way in. His transition has already started, and the Dow Jones decides to hit 30,000. You know what is amazing? Most people don't have money in the stock market. Half the country. I personally do have money. And when I say I have money in the stock market, I don't mean my retirement. That 401k thing, I explained how that money is not yours. Not until you retire. I have my own personal money in the stock market. You know what happened November 4th, 2020? The stocks that I invested in all went up. Every one of them. Except for one. But we don't talk about that. It was one of those cheap two penny stock. Never mind. <clears throat> But the point is, the notion that the government um, can take credit for a strong economy is complete garbage. It's bullshit. It's just not true. Now, don't get, don't get me wrong. There are things that they can do, policies that they can put in place that can boost an economy. But really, the only thing that, that the government can do in order to boost the economy is to pump money into the system. Well, where do they get this money from? Taxes. So you pump taxes, tax dollars into the system in order to boost an economy. Ladies and gentlemen, that is called socialism. Again, somewhere down the line, the definition of socialism became something evil and got mixed in with communism and and Marxism and whatever else ism you want to talk about. And the true definition of socialism is just that. So I just want to remind everybody because I've done this video before, but I just want to say it again. Capitalist told you socialism is bad because capitalism don't want to pay taxes. So they lied to you and convinced you that socialism is a bad thing, that socialism is evil and it will ruin the economy and whatever else, blah, 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 nonsense they came up with. But the truth of the matter is, like I just told you, we already have socialism. But see, when it benefits capitalism, Capitalists don't call it socialism. It's only when it benefits human beings personally, like education and health care, housing. When it comes to those things, then it turns into evil socialism. But when it saves banks and automobile industries, then it's not socialism. When it pays for the military's budget, it's not socialism. It's only when it pays for the old folks to have Medicare, Medicaid, and Social Security. That's when it's socialism. So you think about that. You think about that. <clears throat>